Today, we're tackling a tired question that's not so easy to answer. Why do we yawn, and why are they sometimes contagious? Let's find out on today's episode of... Colossal Question! Humans start yawning super early in life, as in before we're even born. That's right, modern technology has shown that babies inside the belly can yawn and hiccup for at least six months before they're born. We also don't just yawn when we're tired. Studies have shown that we yawn when we're getting sleepy or waking up or really any time that our level of alertness is changing. Experts still aren't exactly sure why we yawn, but there's been plenty of theories throughout the years. The ancient Greek doctor Hippocrates, who is known as the father of modern medicine, believed that you yawned right before you got sick as a way to remove bad air from the lungs. But years of scientific discovery tell us that Hippocrates probably had that wrong. By the 1700s, experts in Europe began to believe that yawning was a reflex meant to increase your blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen levels in order to be extra alert. But once again, more modern science has shown that heart rate, sweating, or electrical activity in the brain doesn't increase when you yawn. So that theory is out. Today, some experts believe that yawning might just be another way for us to communicate. If that's true, then yawns are a nonverbal way to show changes in our mood or surroundings. That's why yawns can be contagious. When we see someone else yawn, it can cause us to feel what that person is feeling and communicate it back with a yawn of our own, almost like a conversation between our bodies that we never decided to have. Pretty weird, huh? And now you know the main theories for why we yawn. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.